Look, you can see it says upgrade plan in the bottom left. There's no excuse anymore, guys. You don't even need to add a payment method to use custom GPTs anymore. Get on this while it's hot. Let's get into it. With the release of GPT-4.0, it's called 4.0. Why do they do that? With the release of ChatGPT-4.0, I thought this would be a good opportunity to revisit one of my favorite keyword methods now that it's completely free. I'm gonna be using a different email for this video. This email does not have ChatGPT Plus and it doesn't have Perplexity Pro either. And I'm gonna show you that you can get just as good results using a completely free method. So I'm gonna press try ChatGPT right here. It's gonna go on my ChatGPT. You can see in the bottom left of my screen, it says upgrade plan. So I'm not gonna be upgrading the plan. We're gonna be sticking with the free plan. Now, this should use a mix of GPT-4.0 and GPT-3.5. However, if I click on explore GPTs, you can now use um, custom GPTs for free which is a huge, huge update, okay? This is something that, I mean, this kind of changes a lot of things because a lot of people were waiting. They, they, they've never even used custom GPTs because it wasn't free to use. Now, my tool that I'm gonna be showing you in this video, a lot of you will be familiar with it, but it has extremely good ratings. So if you just go and search GPTs at the top and type in topical authority, then hopefully mine will be at the very top, it is. My GPT, uh, my custom GPT is still the most popular custom GPT on the market for topical authority. So we'll click it here and you'll see it's got uh, 4.8 out of five with 600 plus ratings, which is actually really, really good. And I'm hoping at some point it's gonna be on the GPT store again, but for now we're actually not on the GPT store or not at the top anyway. So I'm gonna press start chat here. So I haven't paid for anything. I, I, haven't, I haven't paid a penny to get to this point. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on perplexity. Again, you can see on the bottom left, try pro. So I do not have a pro perplexity account. Now I'm gonna do a niche that maybe, you know, I haven't necessarily done before on the channel. So I'm just kind of thinking in my head what niche I can do. Uh, we, we just did a live stream um, of starting a pet store. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna do Actually, no, because I need a real website. Um, let's just do supplies for blacksmiths because, yeah, I, I don't really have any other options. I need a real website to do this. So I'm going to press a new thread here. I'm going to say look up suppliesforblacksmiths.com and understand the website, what they are selling, and try to focus as much as possible on uh, their products, collections, etc. Um, find me, give me a detailed analysis of the, of their, uh, focus on their website. We'll press enter here. What this is going to do, it does work better with Perplexity Pro. I will say that now this isn't an ad for Perplexity, but it does work better with Perplexity Pro. Um, so this is kind of like a decent example of what you might get. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask a follow up and say, can you give me a detailed analysis, uh, a more detailed analysis without giving me useless information. We'll press enter here and there we go. We've got product focus, product organization, product information, customer support overall. Uh, remove customer support and replace with something useful. Uh, this is, I don't even know what this is using. It looks like it might be using GPT-4.0, which means they're actually losing money, uh, which is quite funny. Um, so we'll press copy here, and then I'm gonna go notepad, and we'll just uh, press plus here, and paste. Okay, there are actually no sources, which is interesting. So I don't know how it's got that information. So we'll go back on to the topical authority generator for SEO GPT. Now I'm just gonna show you that there is another way to do this, but I'm, I'm gonna use the method that I am showing you, but I'm just gonna show you the other method, which is where you do the same thing. You say, look up suppliesforblacksmiths.com, understand what they're trying to sell in their business, and then make the, uh, to the topical map, basically. 
So remember, I haven't paid for anything in this video and it's doing a Bing Google, uh, Bing Google search. It's doing a Bing search for me and then it's gonna actually make the topical map. So again, remember, I haven't paid anything, which is really, really good because now we can do in-depth keyword research you know, without paying anything at all. So basically the way that this tool works, obviously a lot of people have used my topical authority generator before. Again, you can, I'll leave a link to it in the description or you can just find it on the chat, on ChatGPT's website. Um, all it does is it creates the pillars, which um, are kind of like the blog categories. And then I'm gonna say, now give me the sub pillars. And what, that, what it's gonna do now is it's gonna give me 20 sub pillars for every pillar, okay? So the end result of this is that you have 400 potential blog post topics. So let's scroll down. Types of blacksmithing hammers, using tongs in blacksmithing, essential blacksmithing pliers, smithing kits for beginners, advanced smithing kits, specialty hammers, et cetera, et cetera. But I'm just gonna press stop here and I'm gonna press new chat and I'm gonna paste what we got from perplexity before into the topical authority generator. Now, the reason that I'm doing that is because it gives a much better and much more detailed description of the products that you're selling, okay? So you can see specifically, it's talking about propane forgers, blacksmith hammers, cast iron anvils, steel anvils. This is much more specific to what we are selling on supplies for blacksmiths, okay? Because if you're just doing it um, the way that I showed you before, it's not quite as accurate and it's not quite as close to what you're selling. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, please give me the sub pillars, but give me five per pillar. The reason I'm doing that is because I wanna see a nice spread. Uh, normally I wouldn't say that, I'm just using it as an example for this video. Now, while that's loading, I'm gonna open, actually we, we wanna do completely free and easy methods. So I'll use a different uh, keyword method that's completely free. Go on Google, type in Ahrefs keyword, tool free, and then click on the first one here, free keyword generator tool. What this allows us to do is it allows us to use Ahrefs massive brain to do free searches, okay? So what we can do is we can take one of these best propane forgers and we can put it here and we can press find keywords. Now this might not have a lot, obviously, it's got less than 100, but it's a good sign when the keyword is actually here. This means that it is something that is searched. If we click on questions as well, which we can't because it won't let us because uh, we have to pay, uh, you will probably find some questions there as well. So let's do types of blacksmith hammers as well. Now, all you really need to see is that the keyword is here, okay? If it says no match found, it's a bad keyword. If it says, if, if it pops up here, regardless of whether it's you know got a high number or a low number, that doesn't matter. What matters is that you actually see the keyword appear here. So types of blacksmith hammers, 100 um, volume and easy keyword difficulty. So just imagine having an article, best blacksmith hammers or types of blacksmith hammers 2024, put all your products in there. You will rank on Google easily for that. Let's do choosing the right hammer. Let's see what this comes up with. No ideas found. Okay, that's fine. We don't mind that. Let's just double check that wasn't because I had a big space. So this is an example of a keyword that's not that good because it says no keyword ideas found. But before you say that it's not a good keyword, a really, really good piece of advice is to go on Google and search the keyword and just see what comes up. Now you can see there are quite a lot of things here. So to be honest with you, I would probably still think about this keyword. Now, another really good piece of advice that I rarely talk about on this channel is how to very quickly build the outline of an article like this, okay? So choosing the right hammer is the keyword. You can see it says, people also ask. There's a really nice section on Google called people also ask. How heavy of a hammer should I get? What are the four rules to follow when using hammers? What type of hammer to get? What size hammer do carpenters use? What you wanna do is you wanna click the relevant ones to your keyword. So how heavy of a hammer? Let's click that one and then click it again, and you'll see two more have appeared. How heavy should my blacksmith hammer be? Does the size of a hammer matter? Let's click on this one because we're specifically interested in blacksmithing. Click this one again, and you'll see what is the most common blacksmith hammer? Are heavy hammers better? 
This one has the word blacksmithing in again. So we'll click it and click it again. And then you'll see what is the hardest thing to blacksmith, what hammer is commonly used in a smithy shop. What we can now do is we can drag this and we can say to ChatGPT, use these headers in your titles. Or you can also just use this as an FAQ at the bottom of the page. That's a really good, easy tip on how to do some really effective keyword research. Now, you can kind of see that I'm doing logical-based keyword research, so I actually won't check most of these. Like, I'll just get on with it and start writing the article. Anything that I think is good, anything that I think will um, rank on Google, that will bring traffic, I will just make it, okay? I won't bother searching all of these one by one. I'm just showing you how to do that in case that's what you want to do. So again, we could go on Google, we could type in types of blacksmithing tongs, and then you can just start clicking these here. Again, people also asked. This gives you more and more keywords. It allows you to build the topical relevance within the article, which in turn helps you build topical authority for your website, and hopefully it will bring you some sales as well. So let's do a quick summary of what we have just been through. ChatGPT has just released 4.0, which is completely free. Anyone can sign up right now on a brand new email address and use it completely for free. What we've done is we've used Perplexity, another completely free account without even making an account this time. We've searched our website on Perplexity. We've got a really nice description of what the website is selling. We've put that into my topical authority generator, which you can find for free again on the custom GPT store. And then we've just tested a few of the keywords to show you that the keywords are actually good. Again, using Ahrefs completely free keyword generator. Finally, I showed you a method of finding alternative or related semantically relevant keywords to include in an article. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a comment and show us how it's going. Let us know if this helped you. And if you're watching all the way to the end of the video, as usual, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out. If you're interested in other LLMs that aren't ChatGPT, then please check out the last video where I showed you how to use Hugging Face Chat to play around with some open sourced models. Which we'll put here. <laughs> <laughs>